Hello, and thank you for joining us. In this presentation, we're going to be talking about the MSI Advanced Search Result Module. And of course, this is available for both Share as well as your ADF applications. Now, you're probably wondering, should I be watching this video? Well, here's a couple of questions to help you get to that answer. One, do you need a more robust result screen? In other words, something that provides more information, allows you to do more with your results. Would it be valuable to pull the documents from a result set together into one document, say for sharing, the ability to, instead of handing somebody a bunch of documents, hand them one consolidated document? Is sharing the result list, perhaps, as an Excel file valuable? So in other words, if I've got my result list in front of you, do you need to share that with people? Does people need to take a look at what that result list looks like in order to act upon it? Well, if you answered yes to any of these questions, it probably makes sense to watch this video. So let's get started. Here we are at the Advanced Search Criteria screen, and of course the results solution can be accessed from any of the content types you've got to configure. So we simply configure a content type to access that result grid. Now of course in this example it's doing it from Share, but we've also got the results grid coming out of some of the ADF apps we've built as well. So that can be used either in Share or against your ADF apps. Now I'm just going to add a accounting doc type right here. Let's put a date and we'll do Actually, we'll do December 1st. December 1st to February 1st, and I'll hit Search. And here, of course, is my result set. And as you can see, the columns across the top, these are configured by virtue of the content type you have. So by virtue of whatever metadata available in your content type, we configure what appears here. And of course, they're all sortable, as you would imagine. By default, it comes across as the modified date. That's where the sorting is by default. Now, let's go off and grab a couple of PDFs, let's say. Let's say I want to take this PDF and, I don't know, these two PDFs. All right, And let's say I want to merge those together because it's an audit. I want to get these three documents out to those auditors. So I can select the documents, hit Merge Selected Documents to PDF, and now I've got my PDF, which basically is the documents I have selected all pulled together. And from here, I can save this back into Alfresco, send it to somebody, or do what needs to be. So now I can also go off and create a manifest of the documents that were just merged together. Simply click Export Selected Documents to Excel, and it will create an Excel spreadsheet that is basically a list of all the documents that were just merged together. And of course, based on how you would like it configured, the appropriate metadata would appear in each column. What's also nice is one of these columns can be configured with a hyperlink. So you can click on that hyperlink and it'll take them right back into the repository. And of course, if you want, you can hit export all to Excel and it'll take the entire result list and make that same Excel spreadsheet. And other actions you see here, you can download the document, you can of course edit it or view it in the profile, which allows you to see the document as well as edit the metadata. So what did we learn? Well, we learned you can have business specific metadata in a result screen. That it's very simple to merge various PDFs documents together into one file. And exporting the result list into an Excel spreadsheet can be done in just one click. So what are your next steps? Well, it's time to reach out to MicroStrategies so we can help you like we help our other clients.